technology is better off with women in it, which is exactly the mission of our next speaker. Please welcome to the stage, Elena Percival, CEO of Women Who Code. There's a problem that you can choose to see as an opportunity. We're living in an incredibly exciting time. The industry that you're wanting to succeed in is becoming a technology industry. And that means going forward, the leaders of your industry will be making technology decisions. And that brings us back to today. We had an amazing year. Recently, we reached a record high of women running Fortune 500 companies, coming in right under 5%. And there are more men named John running companies, large companies, than there are women of any name. And what we're looking at as your industry in all industries become technology industries is that we're going to be a million engineers shy of the market needs by 2020. That's really soon. And what we're seeing is women are dramatically underrepresented in technology and technology and investing leadership. My name's Elena Percival. I'm the CEO of Women Who Code, and I'm, we are choosing to see this as an opportunity. I have a question. So how many people here are running real estate companies? How many people here are uh, running real estate technology? How many people use technology in their job today? <laughs> All of us. So Women Who Code's mission is to see women excel in technology careers. We want to see more women staying in their careers and making it to the top of the funnel. We do that by providing an avenue and helping them to reach those goals. We have two main program avenues right now. One is in-person events. We had 1,500 free technical events last year. That's four per day. We also have a weekly publication where we work to raise the profile of the many amazing women in the technology industry to help build them up as role models and encourage women to engage in the broader tech community. So we gave away over $200,000 in educational scholarships, you know, helping to transform the lives of 125 women. And we've gone global. Women Who Code is in 20 countries. We're producing these events in 60 cities around the world. And the thing that I'm absolutely most proud of is the leadership that we're building. So Women Who Code has directors all over the world in our 60 cities. And this is a volunteer opportunity, but it's very prestigious. And these women are ex experiencing career acceleration. What they do is They'll get uh, speaking opportunities. We've had several invited onto boards as advisors. We've had um, them get press mentions, get promotions, get called into companies as thought leaders. Just this month, I had uh, one of our directors from Mexico City tell me that in the past year, um, since she stepped up as a leader with Women Who Code, her salaries increased 200%. I had another leader, and this is one of my favorite stories, when she stepped up, and she's in the box, has a master's degree in CS. She was always going to be really successful no matter what she did, but she was so shy. And she said, Elena, I'm gonna be the worst director. And at the first event, she said, my name's Erica, this is what we're doing tonight, feel free to ask me questions, and she sat down. And she stood at the front of the room for a year. And at the end of that year, she was invited to speak at three different tech conferences. So this woman, who could barely say her name in front of like 30 really nice people, gave a tech talk to a standing room only crowd. This is creating leaders, shifting these women from being leaders at Women Who Code to leaders in the tech industry in general, which means 
they're role models now for your little sisters, for your daughters when they decide to enter the market. And we tell the, these, the women out there, the tech industry needs you. It's an amazing career. It's creative, it co requires communication, it's flexible, it's in demand. It's a really, really great industry to be in. And women who code, we've had 80% uh, of our members tell us that they've experienced a career impact. And 97% have told us that they'd refer it to a friend or a colleague. So what we really just need to do is have the tide lift all boats and really move forward. Having role models for the women entering and uh, the women considering joining the tech industry. And it makes financial sense. We can't push this forward if it doesn't make sense financially. But teams that are diverse perform better, and companies with women in leadership. And remember, real estate is a technology industry. They yield better results as well. So we had a really exciting week last week. Um, Women Who Code is a 501c3 nonprofit, but we had the honor of coming to New York and ringing the bell at the stock exchange, which was absolutely a career highlight for me. But what we hope is that it's going to inspire women to start companies and bring those to IPO. So what's happening in your industry? This is a technology industry. No matter how you run your business or how your clients are finding you, how they are discovering their properties and obtaining their loans, the communication you receive, uh, all of this is changing. And if you adapt with it, if you take on these technologies, you are going to be more successful. And we have a lot to learn from, from the real estate industry. From my perspective, the tech industry has a lot to learn from you as well. There's 56% women who are real estate agents. And many of the, the top women in the industry, or top people in the industry, are women. So there's a lot of lessons learned there. So innovation is happening faster, faster than ever. And it's going to support your business. It's going to have you perform better if you take this on. Many of you are already very good at that. I think probably just by being here today, it means that you're forward thinking in your industry, but your company, your team is going to be doing better as you embrace these technologies that come about. And you also have to think, you understand the pain points of your industry. You are best positioned to develop new ideas and develop new products that you and your industry can grow with. So just think of it now. Because it's your time. It's your time to succeed here in the tech industry. Because real estate is a technology industry. Thank you very much.